Did you watch the Super Bowl? I did. Uh -huh. I did. We had a, we had a little party at our house. Mm -hmm. I'm a Jet fan, so mm -hmm. I wasn't that happy. Right. Because if you're a Jet fan, you you don't like the Patriots. I don't know why, but right. that's, yeah, because they beat us a lot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right. There was not a lot of action. No. Yeah. Not much going yeah. on. Yeah. What yeah. other sports are you into? Sports? Do you play anything? Uh, well, I'm older. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I boogie board. Uh huh. I that's dangerous. I'm at the age where. Any sport where I can lay down and pee, that's... <laughs> that's the one. How, how many are there? Uh, there's boogie board. Uh-huh. Maybe luge. I don't know what those... I don't know. I think at that <laughs> angle, laying down, yes. you don't... But it might freeze. I guess it might freeze. Or... Midway? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess bowling, you could pee and bowl, <laughs> you know? They have, they have yes. equipment. They yeah. have equipment now, yes, I'm sure. All right, so your special, we'll talk about that next segment, but it's yeah. fantastic. And, and I know you've been doing stand-up, but you haven't done a special in 23 years, so it's, it's great for everyone to see you well, again you. on yeah. a mass scale. Um, and you've been married 17 years, right? No. No. 31. That's what I meant. <laughs> I'm bad with numbers today. No, I'm yeah. really bad. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> of course. Here's how you know you've been married a long time. Um, the amount of God bless you's I get now are less and less and less. And those, <laughs> like when, like if you go on a, if I go on a little sneeze run, I get maybe two, and then it's just all right already, all right. <laughs> go, it's literally go in the other room. I'm, I'm watching. Say yes to the dress. Just get out of here. <laughs> and not only that, we're at the point where she's arguing about how loud they are. We have that argument. That's when you're married for a long time. When you're arguing about the how the loud sound. the sneeze is. Well, I, you know, I let it out. I let it out. Right. And she's like, no, it doesn't have to be, and it does. Yeah. I, I don't want to rupture something. I, right. We have, that. and then here's another sign. The other that you've been married for a while. I got up. Uh, the alarm went off. I got up. I, I went in the bathroom, and she was brushing her teeth, and she just turns to me and goes, another thing that pisses me off. She's in mid <laughs> mid argument already. She's already got the argument. And I'm like, what? That's not even a complete sentence. She, she's of something from last night. Uh -huh. She's kept going, which I don't <laughs> know. You know, you go to sleep. You've got to, you reboot. You that's reboot. right. That's right. Yes. But that's, uh, and another thing. that's 31 years, not 17. Yeah, no. Yes. 17, she wasn't doing <laughs> no, that yet. No, she wasn't doing that. No. Yes. And you, because you have, uh, you have, I, I do have this right. You have a daughter and you have yes. twin boys yes. and then another son. I'm my he, youngest. The yes. youngest. And he's? He's going to be 21. 21. And he's, um, oh, is that cute? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell this kid, I don't even know how to describe this kid. I can't tell if he's like the, the stupidest kid? <laughs> or maybe the deepest. He might be the deepest because he says things that just, uh, I don't know how to react to. He came, the other day he went to a uh, party and he came home 6 a.m., right? So I happened to be up and he comes upstairs and I'm like, Joe, you're coming home at 6 a.m.? And he doesn't say anything, he just walks into his room and looks at me and goes, for now. And I'm like, <laughs> it, it, and I was, look, he's right. Time has no meaning. I, I, I couldn't say anything else. And I went back in, into the bedroom. My wife's like, did you find out where he was? And I'm like, where are any of us? Where, <laughs> where, where's, are we here? Are we even here? <laughs> he's, yeah, that's him. He, he's, uh, how old is he? He's going to be 21. And he lives at home. I have three, yeah, my boys live at home. The twins live at home too? Yeah, yeah, the good one moved out. The good one. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good, it's just. The daughter moved out. She does things, my daughter moved yeah. out. My also was the daughter and the twins moved out. You know, I, I lived at home until I was 29 um, in, in Queens in a little, you know, one bathroom thing. They've got, they've got nine bathrooms, they've got a movie theater, they've got a trampoline. They're not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, They're not well, going anywhere. Yeah. it's different. So you yeah. lived there with your mom till 20, 29, 29 and then got married and moved straight in with yeah, your I wife? Yeah, right overnight I got, yeah, married <laughs> into the house. Yeah, that's wow. it. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was a little traumatic. I have no, uh, because you move in with someone, day one is a crucial day. Like uh, little choices you make, like what side of the bed 
you, you, don't, you think that's trivial, but that's your side for life right yeah. there. <laughs> and I blew it. I blew, I didn't, I didn't look at the TV angle. You know, it's, <laughs> it's it, you gotta make the right choice. Cause I got a toe, I got a big toe in the middle of the screen for the rest of my life now. <laughs> But it should be when it's not directly in front of the bed, you have it angled or something? The TV is a little off, oh. and her foot, it, like when the weather report is on, I just get from Wednesday over. Uh. I don't see, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you learn, you adapt, you adapt. Yeah, well, it yes. sounds like you have. Yes. It's oh. really clever how you did this. So you, uh, like I said, you haven't stopped doing stand-up, so. No, but I don't do it a lot, but, I, but I've always kept, Kept doing it. Right. Yeah, What's yeah. the longest you've gone without doing it? Four, five months, maybe. Yeah. You know, work takes over, but I do. I play Vegas like seven times a year. I do charities around town, mm -hmm. and then when I go to New York, I pop into the club where I started, which right. is the cellar. The yeah. cellar. So you, and it's so cool how you start because you're walking down the street, the camera's following you. Yes. You literally kind of walk in and go right on stage. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't announce it. The audience is not expecting me to. It's me fantastic. To go in there. And I did a half hour at that, that club. And then around the corner, they started another club, the Village Underground. And we walked around the corner and did the other half hour there. Yeah. yeah. And then you end with your family is there watching you. They walk out. And then you, you have pizza together, which I love that ending. Yes. But do they, because do, you really do talk about your family a lot. And you do call your, your sons stupid. Um, no. Right? <laughs> you, you don't know which is stupider uh, the, because of the cone on the head. There's yes. anyway, but yes. but so yes. do they care that, do, that you're making the them boys dra love it? The boys love it, no matter what I say. They they're big, you know. They're my number one fans, and my wife, you know, occasionally, and I tell it when she look whenever she says anything, I I, I tell her what I always tell her uh, to go cry on a bag of money. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's a big bag, it's a big bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. she, she's okay with it, yeah. she's okay. She's yeah. fine. Yeah, she's all right, she's gotten used to it. All right, so let's talk about your twin boys. So okay. uh, they, they were the, I think we had them on the show first. You they were in the audience. Yeah, had them a couple times. They were in the audience. Um, there they are showing how they make that noise under their arms. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yep. And yes. then we, we had them in a jacuzzi doing something. We were throwing something That was from the, some uh, neighbor. They just dumped in a neighbor's pool, I think. Right. Yeah. We dared them to do that. So, yeah. so they've been on the show several times. There they are kind of growing yeah, up. they're growing up. All right. Now one of them works for Jimmy Kimmel and one works for James Corden. And what happened to me? <laughs> They're very ungrateful. Yes. They're ungrateful <laughs> little boys. But, but you know what? If I know them, they're going to get fired soon. OK. They're going to get fired soon. Yeah. So if you have an opening. I see. If you have an opening, they'll probably have an ankle bracelet uh -huh. or something. But, <laughs> but it, believe me, they're going to need a job soon. Yeah. By the way, they had great fun coming on here, you know? It was just. Well, that's great that they're working in the business, though. That's really fun. So yeah, yeah. Except every time I do Kimmel or Corden, I have to come up with a bit with them in it now. And so it's a little. We try to get them dates. They're 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 single. So I try to get my, on Kimmel. I try to get him a date. So when I went on Corden, he he topped it, and he had a girl come out of the audience and have a date right there. So and by the way, you have a lot of women. So yeah. Well, so yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll see if uh, no one seems interested. Um, <laughs> Not even a hand or anything went up. So it doesn't get, seem like you're, you need to promote them better. But they, they're they sitting on a big bag of money, too. Oh, look at the hand. Look at the hand. Gay women are holding their hands up. <laughs> Married grandmothers. Yeah. All right, you can check out Ray's comedy special right here around the corner, available now mm -hmm. on Netflix. We'll be right back.